Hey friends, I have hemmed and hawed around if I should vlog today and I finally decided, you know what, I'm just going to pick up my camera and we're going to do it. Um, it is almost, well it's quarter after five um, and today is July 30th. This was Aubrey's last day of school which was so super duper exciting. Um, I have a little bit of a clip of um, us arriving at her school to pick her up and it was sad but it was really joyous at the same time here in Ontario Canada where we live kids have two years of kindergarten and they start they have um, junior kindergarten and senior kindergarten it's all day all week and she started when she was three and a half years old so um, this is her second year with her teachers um, and we just love them they they're amazing and the way that they approach school and um, teaching think kindergartners um, is actually being studied by um, people from all over North America um, it's kind of it's sort of a bit of the Montessori way it's student-led teaching and um, they do lots of inquiries and they're outside all the time they go deep into the bush and they just I mean I don't know I just can't say enough good about her school and her teachers so it was a bittersweet sort of day so we are going to have a barbecue with my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law they are going to come over here in a little bit I'm just getting ready to make some hamburgers so I think I'm going to just bring you guys along and share with you our weekend but first let me show you my trick to really delicious hamburgers okay so here it is it's seasoning salt you pick this up just at any grocery store and what I do is I do not add anything to my ground beef I don't add any binders fillers eggs oats like anything it is just straight up meat I sprinkle sea salt and cracked black pepper on both sides of the patty and then I sprinkle on seasoning salt and let me tell you this puts in such a really 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 good flavor to your burgers okay so we are going to go buy a um a, a set for a christmas movie that's being filmed here i think it's a hallmark movie so we're going to show you guys the set it's kind of fun so there's tinsel on this and like um, reindeer in the window Is, is there anyone famous here yet? This van was in front of us the last time and turned in. I wonder oh, if it's no. part of the set. It's probably a part of the set. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Are we going in? I feel I have come to know Aubrey's family through her morning reflections and her writing. Each morning she spends time connecting with her teacher by sharing a story, a short story about something that happened on or a family okay. event that right. she is looking forward to. We have come to know each of Colt's milestones, such as the day he gave her his first thumbs up sign. We so yeah. know about each time she goes to pick up Auntie Sarah at the airport and when Daddy is starting a new work project. Well, hey guys, we are just getting ready to go out for a bonfire. I've got my little glow necklaces on, bracelets I guess they are. Um, I'm just going to get some water and I'm going to go head out to the fire. Free! You can start someone. Well, hey guys, happy Canada Day if you are Canadian. Um, we are just getting ready to head to my in laws' house. It is about sometime between 4 and 4 30. It's been rainy and kind of cold today, and we haven't done much. We just sort of hung out and my neighbors are staring at me talking but I just wanted to fill you in on what we are doing the kiddos are um, strapped in their seats and we're just waiting for Shane to come and we will 
be off to have some fun. My father-in-law is actually coming home this evening, which is pretty exciting, and we may go to our church because they're having a huge um, Canada Day celebration with a barbecue and snow cones and games and fireworks and all kinds of fun stuff. So we will see what the day brings. Hi. Hey, Grandma. Hey, can I go see Grandma? Um, Alfie? Yeah. Oh, you want ice cream? You silly fella. Here your bag. These are little bags that my sister-in-law gave Aubrey and Colt yesterday. Do you want to carry Aubrey's? <laughs> yeah, you want to carry Aubrey's? Thank you. I'll show you guys some of my mother-in-law's plants. This beautiful flower, and then this big old fern, and then she's got this little setup over here, and then. He's really excited. Hey, hey, Aubrey. Hey, how are you? Oh. So, Mandy, would you like a uh, Shane? I have spaghetti sauce and penne noodles. If you want that, quarters out in the backyard. No. <laughs> Please. Well, hey, friends. It is now 10:30 at night. I don't know if you can hear that kind of popping noise. Those are fireworks. It is Canada Day and I am in my kitchen getting ready to clean all my dirty dishes. Um, I never did the dishes after our barbecue last night because we ended up just um, doing stuff as a family and then today we were pretty busy. I didn't need to get my kitchen cleaned. It's pretty disgusting. So that's what I'm going to do. It is 10.30 at night. Fireworks are going. I'm going to put on some YouTube, catch up on some video watching, and kill a mosquito while I'm at it. So, happy Canada Day, people. This is my life and how I celebrate. Not really. Well, good morning, friends. It is Saturday morning. It is 8 o'clock. And I am just in my living room. I'm having some yogurt, um, a trim healthy mama banana cake, and I've got my Bible and my notebook, and I am going to listen to a study um, on right now media. So this is like a Christian Netflix. Um, they have all sorts of um, Bible studies, um, episodes, like programs for kids, um, and then they also break it down by, like, um, categories, parenting, marriage, men and women, um, leadership, all sorts of different things, um, and so these are, um, a lot of, um, Bible devotion things. My brain is not on today. Anyways, I have been recently watching something by Jen Hatmaker, called Pulling the Thread, and um, it's all about your calling, and so I'm almost done. These are about 20-minute episodes, and it's been really, really good. Anyways, it is Right Now Media, 
Colt is just having his breakfast. I think it's it's eight o'clock if I didn't mention that. He's having his breakfast. Aubrey's still sleeping and Jean is still in bed. We had a late night last night. I had to get up with Aubrey in the night at like quarter to one. So yeah, so that is a picture of our Saturday morning. Yay! <laughs> so here's a little peek at my morning. It's now actually like um, almost quarter to 11. I am just sitting at my dining room table. Um, I got my gear here in this Vera Bradley tote bag. I've got um, some notebooks and um, different tech stuff. I have my coffee, which was delicious. I've got my iPad. Um, and this, I, no, I was not trying to make a curated Instagram photo or anything goofy like that. Um, my son was pulling apart my wreath. I have a wreath in my living room that he can get to. And he pulled this branch off and a bunch of flowers. So Aubrey brought them to me and I was just repairing it. I am also working on some packing lists for our trip to camp. So we leave in about two weeks. And our camp is very remote. It is three hours away from here. It is on an island. Um, and of course, there are amenities on the island. Like there's a grocery store and there's, you know, people live on the island. However, the camp that we're going to um, is pretty rustic in a lot of ways. We are going to stay for the first week because we're staying two weeks. We're going to stay in a lakeside cottage camp cabin and like there's I mean when I say it's kind of rustic I mean that there is no shower inside of the cabins um, you have to like there's like a public bathroom and junk like that so um, it's a little backwoods ish a bit but however there's you know not tenting so anyways I've got to bring a lot of stuff and inside of the cabin I've been told that um, you know, it comes fully furnished with your pots and pans and all of that. However, I don't exactly know what is there and what is not there. And I also just get a little funky about, you know, using stuff that's, you know, not mine and hasn't been washed by me and all of that. I'm sure it's all great and wonderful, but I don't know. It's just a thing. So the second week, we're actually going to stay with my mother-in-law. They have an RV on the island at this particular camp grounds and um so we'll stay with her we have done this camp trip for the past well, my husband and i will be married nine years this year so the past eight years my kids have always gone and we really enjoy it so i won't need half of what is on my list because her rv is fully furnished however i'll need it for the first week so anyways we just need to be really prepared because um like there's you can't even drink the water so I need to you know make sure that we have enough water brought to the camp of course we can always go to the grocery store which is you know a ways away um, and there's like a camp store where you can you know go f refill your water jugs and whatnot but you know we're just super duper preparing so I'm going over some lists from last year I've pretty much got everything written down I mean like look I have got lists and lists and lists <laughs> So um, I'm going to do a whole separate video about how we're preparing for camp, packing for camp, a bunch of, you know, different packing videos, all of my lists and things like that. But I'm just taking some time while my children are being hoodlums and I'm going to be working on this. Well, hey guys, it is now almost four o'clock and we are going to head out to my in-laws house for the evening. Um, my father-in-law is home for a, um, just today, uh, we are going to go for a steak dinner. He's been away working. Uh, since May and we likely won't see him again for another month or so um, after today. So we are going to head out over there. I wanted to show you some stuff that I'm bringing. So I've got my big Nalgene bottle filled with water and some of my um, water drops and then I'm also bringing a couple of sides for myself. This kind of will just help me stay on Trim Healthy Mama a little bit easier because I can't guarantee what's always going to be at different um, places that I eat, so um, sometimes it's just easy to bring my own side. So one is a coleslaw, and then one is um, a yellow spaghetti squash three cheese casserole. And then I've got 
my big Vera Bradley tote. I actually use this as a diaper bag with cold. And I've got some goodies inside. I've got like my iPad and a notebook and paper to write um, one of my Erin Condren notebooks and my planner. And this bag has a bunch of um, pens and washi and just stuff like that. Things that I just don't ever want to be without because sometimes we're just kind of relaxing and everyone does their own thing and you know I've just got stuff to write with and stuff to do so that is what I've got going on the kiddos are all ready to go and so we're good. getting home from um, my in-laws house. We had a really fun time uh, visiting with my father-in-law. We had like a whole steak dinner and um, it was just a really good time. So uh, Shane's grandparents came over and they brought a few gifts for the kids and actually Shane and I went to a store that is located near here which is basically like a Target, Walmart, Dollar Tree liquidation store. And so we picked up a few things and I'm going to show you what I picked up. And then I'm going to call it quits. We have a busy day tomorrow. We have church. And then we're going to um, Sofran's house for lunch. And then we're going to get Aubrey ready for camp and go to bed early. <laughs> so that is kind of going to wrap it up for me. But let me share with you this haul. Okay. So starting off is this really big basket, which I'm super duper excited about. Um, it was originally 1988 from Walmart, um, and I got it for $12. So I am going to see if these fit into um, my laundry room. I have a big, tall pantry type cupboard. I'm going to see if these fit in. So my camera died the other night when I was trying to film this haul. So I'm going to share with you what I picked up so I can get it all put away. And we needed some new hand towels for the bathroom, so these were a two-pack. Originally, four forty-seven, and I got them. I think forty or fifty percent off. I got two OXO containers. Originally twelve ninety-nine, and these were both forty percent off as well. And then I also got some jewelry. These were all two dollars. So this was originally $10 and um, down to $3 at Target and their jewelry was um, $2 each. So I also got these earrings which are super duper pretty and these again were originally $10 and I got them for two. And this necklace which is just so me, I love it so much. Um, originally $16.99 and down to $2. This is actually a bowl that matches our dishes set. Originally $4.59, which I think is way too much to pay for a stupid bowl. It was 40% off, but we um, one of our bowls broke, so I just got a replacement. <clears throat> My husband picked this up. Um, I'm guessing it's a water hose. I'm not sure. It was $7.73 and probably, I don't know, between 40 and 60% off. And then um, Aubrey needed, um, she actually has this headband. We picked it up for her at the store before. It was originally $5. And I think we got it, um, I think the accessories were two for $3. So I picked up this headband because I love it. She wears it so much, but it was very dingy and I had actually stuck it in the washing machine that day to try and um, restore it back to its pretty whiteness and it did actually work the um, the headband sort of scrunched down a little bit but I was able to readjust it but I'm glad that we have another one because this matches just about everything and then because those accessories were two for three dollars um, I picked up these little hair clips that again were originally five dollars 
And these weren't items that we picked up. Um, these were actually given to us uh, that day. Uh, my sister-in-law bought this tank top for cold. And this was on clearance for $4. And then um, Aubrey's... Um, their great-grandparents um, were there for the barbecue, and so they got shirts for the kids. So this is Aubrey's. It's C is for Canada. It is a size too big, so she'll probably wear this uh, next year. And they had gotten this one for Colt, but I tend to think this may be a girl shirt. Um, so we're just going to let Aubrey wear this. Uh, it's size 5, 6, so she'll actually be able to wear this t-shirt this summer. It'll probably be something good for camp. And then they picked her up this uh, Canadian curriculum book. It is for kids in first grade, and since she will be going to first grade, um, this will be great for her. So I think we're going to have her work on a couple pages every day this summer. It's kind of um, fun sort of work. Um, nothing... Nothing too crazy, and she loves schoolwork anyway, so um, she'll enjoy that. And then we got that big metal basket, I think, kind of uh, showed you in the clip. And then Shane got some hooks for a project that he's doing in the garage. So that was our haul. I hope you guys have a great weekend and a great week ahead, and I will chat with you soon. Bye.